Hello everyone, uh, this is Swartwars Newbie here, back with another Star Wars Republic video. Today have you guys another Star Wars Republic highlight video. In today's highlight video, we're going to be soloing the Coruscant world boss. So as you can tell, he's currently not here for some strange reason, I have no clue why. But this is going to be a video where I essentially go over with my companion trying to kill this world boss. This one took uh, quite a while and I had to do a bunch of uh, you know combinations uh, to try and succeed at this task. But overall I do think this is a good highlight video just uh, showcasing some of the things that can be done in this game. So I hope you guys enjoy this Star Wars Republic highlight video. If you do then make sure to leave a like. And if you guys want some game mints then check the link in the description down below. Catalyst at game mints. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoy this video. And I'll see you guys in this highlight. Alrighty guys, so let's get into this highlight right now. So before I start this fight, I'm going to do a quick rundown of how this is going to work and what the game plan is. Because when I get into this fight, it's going to be a little hard to actually talk about what I'm doing. But uh, still, I will try my best to, to kind of describe what's happening during the fight. But uh, essentially with this guy, when you attack him, he even though you have a companion, he will put kind of like a marker between you two. And it'll connect you to, and essentially the closer you are to your companion, the more damage you take. This is one of his mechanics, so obviously you want to stay away from your companion. Sometimes your companion can spawn back right to over you where you are, but my companion will not be able to do anything. He will be stunned for the whole duration of this fight. Now, uh, besides that, another thing that should be noted is he can make it so you take 20% uh, more damage at random times very important to obviously be aware of that and that is going to be a time where I personally heal and try to survive besides that the more he attacks you the more damage you take and then he will use one of his special abilities I don't remember what it is but he throws a pulse on you and essentially does a ton of damage unless you interrupt it or if you can't interrupt it if you have you know diversion if you're on a commando essentially what you can do is you can absorb two of the hits and not take any damage so that's something to consider and essentially this is just a fight uh, of actually kiting this guy i think that's uh, really all the main pointers there's some extra things that do a little damage but the main idea is you want to stay away from your companion attack him and then uh, just uh, overall just try to survive as always so without further ado let's get into the fight Alrighty, guys so let's just get into this right now so we're just going to jump in by doing the first ability. As you can tell, he is already getting attacked and taking quite an amount of damage. As you can tell, I am trying to disconnect from him, just get away from him, because he is going to be taking a lot of damage, as you can probably see. So that is one of the streams that I mentioned that he will use on you and will really try to do damage on you. So this is kind of complex in the sense that this is going to be a... A fight where I just really try to focus and be careful with my defensives because this guy is going to do a lot of damage as you can already probably see so that is a kind of important to consider so I'm taking a lot of damage as you can probably tell already just really taking out all that damage but uh, I'm just trying to do everything I can to survive I think this is possible it's just kind of a kind of you need to get a technique down at least in a sense just you know kind of be careful with your defensives and try to reduce all the damage that you possibly can take that seems to be the main thing of course so I'm still trying to keep up DPS I'm fairly confident that I can be careful with my defensives I just need to just make sure that I don't waste time and do something really stupid this is gonna be a really bad one because I'm actually gonna have to wait it out I'm going to have to take the damage from the stream unfortunately so I'm going to quickly activate that right there I'm going to just continue to attack this guy. Like I said, I'm going to put the diversion up. And that does actually reduce some of the damage of some things that I can probably tell. I did take a little less damage right there, so that was pretty good, of course. So I'm going to just quickly uh, reactivate that. He's going to attack my companion once again. Like I said, my companion is taking a lot of damage. So that is something that needs to be considered, is that there will be a lot of damage actually taken. So let me just uh, quickly move out of here. This is going to be bad. I'm going to have to absorb this one or absorb this one once again without really reducing the damage. So, there we go. Just continue to attack right here. 
And then when I get the chance, when I can reflect, I'm actually going to just heal my companion up a little. Because I can tell my companion is taking a ton of damage. And that is something that I actually really don't want. That can end up being very bad for me, at least. So, there we go. He is going to quickly take some more damage. Pretty low, as you can probably tell. I'm very, very close to using my reflex. So let me use my reflex now. This is my chance to just heal my companion up once again. Just a, kind of a grace period. Now, I'm still going to be taking a lot of damage, as you can probably tell right here. Just uh, taking way too much damage for comfort. Alright, so, as you can tell, I'm very, very low right now. So that is not uh, good at all. Just going to have to uh, try and uh, move around. Quickly heal back up. And uh, try to reduce this damage. Because, like I said, this damage is pretty or unbearable. I mean, you can take a lot of damage from this guy, but... He does hit it like an absolute truck, so it is not fun, as you can probably tell. I'm not having too much fun right now. I am, I am very, you know, I'm on the edge of my seat essentially. I'm just uh, chilling here, you know, taking some damage, trying to live through things, as you can obviously tell. Don't really know what I can do with the commentary right now. I'm like very, very focused, but at the same time, I'm just trying to be careful here because I am really, really low, very low. So, I need to get ready to interrupt this very quickly, just to heal back up. I need my reflect to come back up. That's that's the main thing that I really need to focus on, is my reflect. Okay, this is going to suck. This is going to really suck. I'm going to have to activate this in a second. Yep. This is unfortunate. Take a lot of damage here. And my companion is too low for comfort. That is not good at all. So I'm going to have to be very smart with my next move here. I'm going to have to obviously heal back up. But at the same time, I need to heal my companion as well. So let me just heal him a little more. I'm going to have to heal myself real quick. Just heal my companion as well. Just get him back up to uh, just a full speed. Okay, I can almost reflect. That's going to be good. That's going to be very good for me. I actually should wait for the other ability. But you know what? Instead of waiting for the other ability, I'm just going to take the damage. This also reflects. That is that is good to know. A little too late for that, but it's good to know at least. Alrighty, guys. So it looks like we have a little unwanted help. But you know what? I'm actually perfectly okay with that. I mean, you could say theoretically this could be kind of not a win. But still at the same time, you could say, you know, it's definitely something. I mean, they're going to keep attacking him. Obviously, they're going to die, which is very unfortunate. And I'm going to have to waste uh, some DPS just kind of... Even though it's bad, I'm kind of just letting them die. So, he is going to just uh, die right there. I'm going to have to move back onto it and then continue. Alrighty, guys. He is getting very, very low right now. So, I need to take this very carefully. I am at a very, very good spot, but at the same time, I'm not at the best spot, if I'm being completely honest right here, because my companion is very low, and we don't want our companion dying right here, which I think will be the thing that really messes with us if anything actually happens. So I need to currently actually heal up a bit more, just to get prepared for this next thing right here, this next ability. I'm going to have to heal through this. Let me just quickly activate that right there actually gonna need to heal my companion up a bit more like I said just trying to stay alive that is uh, the uh, goal right here so much as I like doing the uh, you know DPS and dishing it out I can't uh, be a uh, you know cautious or okay you know I can't uh, take uh, too many risks right here because that can end up costing me it pretty severely okay so just continue to do this right here my companion is still very very low Got to get this guy lower, though, or I'm going to run into some serious issues. Oh, no. This is bad. This is very bad. This is very bad. I might have to let my companion die real quick. Oh, no. Oh, no. Going to have to activate this right here. Just continue to heal up, like I said. Get ready to activate to my special ability. There we go. Oh no. Oh, please don't do enough damage. Please. I just need it. 
as much heals as I can. This is very scary. Please, 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 game. Please, game. I am, I am begging you, game. Please do not ruin this for me. Okay, solo. Please don't die, companion. This is the time where you don't die. Okay, just quickly. No big deal. Just continue to dish out the DPS. Okay, gotta DPS him down right now. I gotta get him down. Just quickly do it. And there we go, guys. Just uh, took him out. Very scary moments. Not gonna lie. I was super nervous, but it is possible. But one thing I do want to say right now is, uh, you know, obviously I did have two people right there for a small remainder of the fight, and I did let them die. But that could theoretically kind of make this not fully soloable. I feel like, you know, 100% you can definitely do this alone. It's just like, I feel like for this run, it is a bit unfortunate because I had a couple good runs, but I died. But obviously people are going to help. And that is really nice that people did help. Obviously just shows that people are willing to just support in a fight. which So that's not too bad. And it really couldn't do too much about it. But obviously I still think it was a pretty good run. And even if those players weren't there, I think I would have probably gotten it. Don't want to, you know, defy the odds, but definitely I will do this another time, and, you know, just trying to hope that the players don't really interfere. But as of right now, I do think, yes, this is a, you know, a solo bull, you know, essentially a world boss that you can solo in Star Wars The Old Republic. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Star Wars Republic highlight video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.